I have been dreaming this since when I was a kid that I want to be a nurse. And I was like telling my grandma, I said, hey grandma, I want to be a nurse someday. And my grandma said, oh, you're too short to be a nurse. <laughs> so, but it didn't end me there for my passion and, um, and I know this is going to be my um, great career someday. Year 2010, um, I was a single mother or that's when I started as a, a single mother and year 2011 I was telling myself that I'm not gonna be just you know I need to do something in order for me and my son to have a better life someday so I know it was a little bit tough um, but I decided with the help of encouragement from my co-workers and friends and they told me hey you should go to school I think nursing you'll be good at it so I was thinking about it and then I said oh yeah why not so that decision it was so easy but when I get into the school it was a little bit tough because I pretty much, uh, the first two years of my school here in East PACC, I was a full-time mo um, mother and I was also a full-time uh, employee of Bonaventure of Lacey. But, um, so in the morning I will go for school, I mean, I will go for my work and then during evenings I go to work, I, I go to school full-time also. Not all of this what I want to happen I'll never gonna happen without the help of um, foundation scholarship. Uh, because of them, I was able to focus more, you know, to have someone to help me out for my expenses for the school and pay my tuition. So it's been my passion and I'll never give up with it. <laughs> I started volunteering at the age of 15 at a very small local fire department and I spent about three years there uh, from the age of 15 to about 18 when I graduated and that's when I moved down here. That's probably the only thing that kept me from continuing to go there because I really grew close to the people there and the people there left a really good impression on me of what it meant to be a good firefighter, EMT, even paramedic. There were a few paramedics there and uh, they taught me so much and it made me uh, want to go out and represent them well by you know mastering this trade that is you know being a fireman EM, firefighter EMT and uh, I want to honor them by doing that so that's kind of where my passion comes from is wanting to take what they've taught me build upon that and then take it to another community someday and make a positive difference there. So getting a scholarship helped me continue my education because it gave me a little extra room that I didn't have to worry about, so to speak. It helped me pay for things like a computer, obviously tuition, things that I couldn't have gotten through school without. I grew up in Oklahoma in a home that was really unstable and abusive and I did not want to raise my children, my family in a situation like that. It was really important for me to raise my children in a stable environment. And so I chose to keep my children at home and homeschool them. And um, now my oldest is um, in Western Washington University, um, doing well there, and my next child is a running start student here at SPSCC, and I still homeschool. My mother had a ninth grade education, and my father, I think, might have had a sixth grade education, and so education was not really encouraged. My mother insisted that we finish high school, but my dad didn't really care. And so I grew up in an atmosphere that really education was not a priority. And being young, I didn't understand um, that 
I needed to continue my education. I've given what I could to my children and I now feel like I'm doing this for myself. I have seen the importance of education, but also I would like um, the self-respect of having my own education. Right now I am pursuing a degree in Associate of Arts, but most of the classes that I'm taking are directed toward the prerequisites to go on and take a nursing degree. I'm a mom who has a daughter that at the age of four she developed diabetes, juvenile diabetes, and I would like to be able to help other children like her. Having a scholarship has been extremely beneficial for me. Um, at the beginning of the year I was able to purchase a laptop computer which has helped me so much um, since I'm still at home trying to homeschool children just the everyday um, assignments are much easier to do. Film production is basically a way for me to connect with my dad, who's no longer here. Uh, when I was a kid, my dad introduced me to all kinds of movies, and that I think is very special to me. And actually doing it, you know, kind of gives me the feeling that, oh yeah, he's proud of what I'm doing today. And if only he can see all the types of stories that I'm making now, I think he would be proud. So I, I made a movie about, um, about a transgender struggling to come out to his or her mom and her best friend. So I, I kind of want to make films that incorporate that incorporates um, global like social issues. So yeah, that's what I want to make. Getting a scholarship really means a lot because when I started going here in SPSCC, I, the tuition was kind of a financial challenge for me and my family and so when I started applying for scholarship I just my family was just really happy about it and it really helped me uh, continue taking classes here in SPSCC so I'm very grateful to the foundation for um, giving me the needed financial support you know to continue my my dreams basically. Thank you so much uh, for your support. Uh, you don't even know us, and I think it's a really humbling experience for you to give us what we need in order to pursue like what we want in life. To the donors, I would like to say thank you that you um, care enough to give to those that are trying and putting their time and effort into trying to better their self. I want to say thank you very much. Thank you for uh, g considering giving me this scholarship and for all that it's allowed me to do. Um, and it's allowing me to gather knowledge that I will take someday and apply to a community outside of here and it'll enable me to make a positive difference elsewhere. So, thank you. At this very moment, I want to take the opportunity to thank also the Aoya family uh, this is my second time here now that they have been giving me this scholarship. I am so grateful to what you guys given it to me and not knowing me who really I am, uh, trusting me with that money. Um, there's no words that can explain how grateful I am. Um, and of course, I also thank the Foundation Scholarship for doing this for all the students that um, not knowing where they can get their money for this school. What a great opportunity that you guys given us. Thank you. Công ty Tân Đại Dương là một trong những công ty du học đầu tiên và hàng đầu tại Việt Nam, được thành lập bởi đội ngũ các nhà quản lý và tư vấn du học có nhiều năm kinh nghiệm trong ngành giáo dục cũng như được tu nghiệp và đào tạo ở nước ngoài. Với hơn 10 năm kinh nghiệm, Tân Đại Dương tự hào là nhà tư vấn du học chuyên nghiệp cho các du học sinh tại các nước trên thế giới, đặc biệt là Mỹ, Úc, Singapore, Anh Quốc, Hà Lan, Thụy Sĩ, vân vân. 
cùng với đội ngũ tư vấn viên chuyên nghiệp, chúng tôi cung cấp các dịch vụ uy tín và trọn gói cho ngành du học du lịch Mỹ, bao gồm xử lý trọn bộ hồ sơ đi Mỹ từ A đến Z, kể cả các hồ sơ khó đã từng rớt visa hoặc không đủ tài chính. Tư vấn chọn trường tại tất cả các tiểu bang ở Mỹ, chúng tôi tự hào là đại diện chính thức của hàng trăm trường đại học cao đẳng, trung học phổ thông tại Mỹ. Hướng dẫn các thủ tục xin visa, chứng minh tài chính, hướng dẫn điền form, dạy phỏng vấn du học, du lịch Mỹ. Thay giảng hàng tháng các lớp học phỏng vấn, đảm bảo cho học sinh có được sự tự tin trả lời được mọi câu hỏi của lãnh sự quán. Đặt vé máy bay, sắp xếp nhà ở, ký túc xá cho du học sinh. Với phương châm hoạt động là uy tín, chất lượng và mong muốn định hướng cho học sinh Việt Nam một nền giáo dục tiên tiến, môi trường học tập và sinh hoạt an toàn, Tân Đại Dương cam kết sẽ là người bạn đồng hành cùng học sinh Việt Nam trên đường tới chân trời tri thức. Mọi chi tiết xin liên hệ công ty Tân Đại Dương chuyên du học Mỹ, mặt tiền 148/1 Trần Quang Khải, phường Tân Định, quận Nhất, thành phố Hồ Chí Minh, điện thoại 0838484879098900690, website www.tandaidung.edu.vn.